Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Titan here, of course. Um, when we last left off, we were exploring the hospital, and uh, we actually managed to break one of the door codes. We just need to break the other one, and uh, if I actually remember correctly, we've got to go back downstairs and use the camera. I actually thought the code was just on the camera, <clears throat> but it's not. Again, I've been talking about this game to a few people. And uh, we've been jogging memories and whatnot. Now, where was the room? That room is locked. Ah, this is where we found the SMG, of course. Okay. Quite cryptic, actually. It probably would have taken me a long time to realise that this is where we need to use the camera. There's a suspicious space between the shelf and the wall. But I can't squeeze in there, and there's no way I can move the shelf either. Hmm. This is, like, extremely cryptic right here. So let's use the camera there. And then I've got to remember where the bloody door was. Oh. Let's hope that worked. Ah. Polaroids. I remember those. Always wanted a Polaroid camera, but I never had one. Oh. Well, that's a, a very clear... Um, very well centered photo. So, props to you, Heather. Okay, well, let's go back. I wonder if there's going to be, like, loads of enemies here now. Now, was the door on the third floor, I believe? Which is fine. We should be able to reach it from the stairwell. And I probably should have memorized that photo. However, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I probably don't, Oh. Okay, that sounded different. Sounded like some kind of explosion going off. No hostiles. Oh, well, that's the key code. Uh, pretty sure we can go into memos, can't we? Uh, 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 uh. Photo on the chair. That's not what we want. Corpse tattoo, memo, photo, oh, photo, back side of the shelf. Okay, 2861. Cool. That was nice and easy. Everything's easy when you know how. It's locked. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so, we want one of them. Yeah, one of... What was it? 20? There's my hungover brain. Not working so well. 2861. I was right. Damn it. I should have judged my instincts there. 21 or 2861. There we go. Unlocked. Cool. Now we have access to the next area. Let's go have a look and see what horrors lie within. Well, been greeted by a door. Restroom. That's not the restroom, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're not going into the restroom. Or that room. Okay. Well, I guess that kind of leaves us with only one option. And hopefully, we can actually look in the right direction. There we go. Broken. This is no... That's more like it. I was going to say, this is no good. We need doors. Ooh, health drink. Just what we needed, actually. An alarm clock. The clock's broken, but otherwise, no big deal. Uh, okay, random. It's just a magazine, some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching Despair. Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind this false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Oh, okay. That's standard for Silent Hill, I suppose. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. Hmm. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. Mm -hmm. What kind of hope? I need to move my microphone a little bit closer. There we go. Uh, but at its heart, it's a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Good religious values? Okay. 
Uh, Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sound of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. <laughs> what? Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, the reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious uh, looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems likely that it has anything to do with the business, um, unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. Uh-oh. The cult re uh, religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as The Order. Hmm. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers uh, fervent beliefs that they are among the elite chosen people. It has a dark and dangerous side. Hang on, so how do they even get away with that? Video game logic, I guess. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Yes, yes, true. Um, Joseph. Hmm, Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Yeah, maybe, maybe we're more connected to that than you realise. Okay. Now, I bl didn't we go to the orphanage in another Silent Hill game? Possibly. My knowledge of Silent Hill isn't as good as it should be, really. We tried that one. That one's no go. Damn, we haven't got a lot here, have we? Which is curious. Really? Have we actually missed any doors? No. Okay, so S7. There we go. S7 is the magic number. Uh-oh, another one of Coleman's notes. Let's have a good old read. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. Yeah, but she doesn't. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. Uh-oh. Is he on about the other world? Ooh. A world for us alone. More beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day. For today, the day I'd see you. The day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Okay. The doll is all torn apart. It's really pretty sad to look at. Yes. Well, this whole situation, Heather, is, is pretty sad. You know, let's be honest with ourselves. Oh. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Um, right. They just kind of came out of nowhere, hey. Um, right, well, let's block. You're supposed to block, Heather. It's really supposed to be blocking this, and that one has a gun. That one has a gun. Heather, that one has a gun. Kill it. Kill it quickly. There we go. Slice to the head. Nice. And again. Downward slash. And again. Good. Come at me, bitch. Not likely. Okay, how we came away from that as, as uninjured as we did is a minor miracle. Are they all dead? I guess they are now. Hell. Okay. Kind of was not expecting that. We still, we were doing okay for health. I guess. Ah, oh, we do. 
have the stun gun battery. I forgot about that, but we don't have a stun gun. Which is curious. Never mind, I guess we, we don't need one. Are we going backwards? Six. Seven. Nope, we're not. We're good. There we go. Anything we can do here. Hopefully that's the last of the little surprises we're going to have for a little while. Because as good as this katana is... Ooh. Uh-oh. Hello? As good as this katana is... It is costing us a lot of health. trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. <laughs> My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Oh. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? Not quite. No, never. When I find her, I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. The anger. Little bit. I'm... I don't know. I don't know about this, Heather. But unfortunately, at the moment, it's our only choice. Hall on the second floor. Yeah. But it's locked, if I remember correctly. Um. So, Claudia is definitely doing strange things. And upsetting a lot of people, by all accounts. Right, so, is that this place tapped out? It is. End of the hall on the second floor. That's got to be M6, surely. Or the day room. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go back to the second floor. Well, 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 let's go meet Leonard. Our new ally? Question mark? Hello, beef jerky, sure. We're Lavi. We're certainly Avi. Trio of dead nurses. At least we've got no, no deadites down here. Right, second floor, here we come. I'm not a fan. I think this Leonard guy might not be on the level. But who knows, maybe he is. 
Maybe he genuinely is going to help us. Well, I don't think there's going to be any new enemies here. I say. End of the hall on the second floor. Surely that's got to be here. Oh, oh dear. Well... The hell have we got our The hell have we gotten ourselves into, Heather? Some weird creepy ass maze. Well that's okay. The amazing maze, yes. Oh Um sure. I guess we're just gonna follow the doors that open. Not really much else we can do about that. Quite the desolate place. So we've got a door there. Oh. Is that where we came? No. Can't be. No, this looks to me like progress of sort. Can we get a camera angle, please? Game? Camera angle, please? Is it. No? Okay. That's fine. I didn't want to see where I was going any. Oh dear. Anyway. So we've got that way. That way. Okay. Are you going to open? You're not going to open. Of course you're not going to open. That would have been too easy. Ah, we don't like it when it's easy, obviously. Oh, well. Okay, well that rules that place out. Let's keep going this way. No, we're not going that way. That narrows it down some... What? I guess? So it does look like these are all opening in an order. They don't just open when we get close to them. Which is kind of cool. Right. This would be a prime area to get trapped in. That's a lot of doors. Uh, well, uh, I don't think we're going back. Oh. Shit on a shovel. This picture. This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. Okay. But I know this one. It must be. I guess that's us. Maybe? What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No. It was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse. I know her. Lisa! Lisa, yeah, from the first game. She was already dead uh, when we met her. She just, as far as I can remember, <laughs> she didn't realize she was dead, but she was dead. Who was so heavenly towards me in that hellish hospital room. Hmm. She did get a little weird though. A little weird how? A little weird in the fact that she was dead? Oh. 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 Oh, I hear deadites. Gribbly deadites. We're going up? I guess so. It's the only way is up. Oh! Hello there, fella! Are you gonna attack me? No! What, why are you turning that valve, sir? What the bloody hell are you doing? It's so alive and living. Well... What the frick? It's like some naked 
tortured woman. Well, I guess we've followed on through to the other side. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. We have a map now. Ah. So yes, we're now back in the other side. The seriously fucked up other side. Yeah. Okay. This is not good. Not good at all. Well, perfect opportunity to save it, I guess. Hmm. This is very fleshy. I wonder if this is symbolizing birth, being in the hospital. Oh. Uh, yes, please. Uh. The hand outside the window. Yeah, the hand outside the window. What about it? Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Although it was very nice to have those bullets. Well, I guess we're not going that way. Uh, Leonard, my old friend. Uh, buddy old pal. Where exactly are you hiding? Are we even looking in the right direction? We're not looking in the right direction. Because of course we're not. Lock is broken. Uh, let's try the day room. Oh, shit. We can go in. Right, because we've just saved it, I want to... Can we? Yeah, see, we can't actually go off the edge. I don't think. I have tried. For science. But no. No, 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 we can't. So that's to answer, whoa, that's to answer a comment earlier. The hell is this? Okay. Oh, we've got Gribblies. Come on, you deadite bastards. Oh, it's a dog. Come on. No, it's not a dog. It's one of those, oh dear. Right, let's try and kill this thing. This is not going to go very well for us, is it? Get off me, you fucking creepy bastard. Okay. This is not going very well at all. Um, I guess, actually, we could try... Let's try this fucker. Right, you son of a bitch. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That did not seem very effective. Nope, that is not very effective at all. In fact, she's not actually aiming at the enemies. Which is a little bit sucky. What about you? Are you... Why is she not aiming at these guys? Heather. There we go. Heather, you really do suck at this whole target acquisition business. Come on, get up. Right, you're done, I think. Get off me, you ratty little fucker. Have some shotgun. Heather, aim at the enemies that are in front of you. Honestly, it's not that hard. Okay, this is going extremely poorly. Get off me, you fucking scrubby little... Uh oh, not good. Not good, I might have just doomed us all. Come on, reload. Yep, I think I've doomed us. Never mind. We shall persevere. Okay. That was awful. I bet we're on, like, danger, yeah. And we've used a crazy amount of our shotgun shells. Yeah, that SMG, man. Um, not feeling it, to be honest. Don't know why she wasn't aiming at the targets. There we go. We're fine. 
Right, let's move on. That was stressful. I mean, not really stressful. It's just uh, highlighting the poor combat. Um, so we've got the elevator there, which I guess we're going to use. Or... Oh. Uh-oh. Me no likey. Oh. Me no likey indeed. Can we go through there? Oh. Oh, that's delicious. Um Is this is this good? Oh, uh, oh, now we're bloody and bleeding. Is this going to hurt us? I get the feeling it probably... No, we're good. We're gravy. We're gravy. Um, bleeding walls? Anybody? I hope this is good. Oh. Oh dear. Dear oh dear. Uh, hello Heather. Are you okay? I should say other Heather. I guess we can't break on through to the other side. Something is definitely happening in here. And I don't know if it's a good thing. Oh, we are getting hurt. Shit. Yeah, we are actually getting hurt from that. Okay, that was annoying. Because we actually lost quite a significant portion of health from that. Alright. Um, well, elevator it is, I suppose. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we're also, we're also out of time. I can't believe we lost all that health. God damn it. Right, let's go. Where should we go to? We're on floor th three. Actually, what floor are we on? Floor three, I think. Yeah. Alright, so let's go down to two. If we can. We can. Excellent. Hopefully we can find some more healing items. We need to start um, moving away from the melee weapons, I think. Because they're not really doing us any favours. Well, this place has definitely taken a turn for the worst. I'm just saying, okay. Some of the doors have disappeared. And listen to that ambience. Has that pulsating, like, industrial ambience, which is actually really, really cool. You know, it's such a painful shame that we're not getting any more Silent Hill games. Or at least, very unlikely to get any more Silent Hill games. Well, that looks legit. Don't touch it. Or do. Either or. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Oh, you Who suck. Are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 
31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's Wait. the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> what? But don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have Definitely. the one you hate the most. <laughs> Definitely prefer to give it. Happy birthday to you. But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. Well, we're not really sure what the date is or what the time is or anything, to be fair, Heather. <sighs> okay. Well, that's a thing that just happened. Is there anything else for us to pick up? No. Well, oh, great. Luckily, we can duck out of there. Fuck is all this? Oh. Well, hello there. Are you my birthday present? There's a paper bag with nothing but garbage inside. Something strange is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. Yes. Moving on. Oh. I've got a plastic bag. And a health drink. And another health drink. There's nothing important in the trash. No use digging around in there anymore. Right. Sure. Uh, I think for now, as we cannot see shit, it's time to just try and move on. You know what? Let's kill these things. Kill it. Kill it, Heather. Step on it. Step on it. Damn it, you fucking asshole. Come on, break free. Damn this handgun. It really does suck. Okay. Right, let's take him out. Come on, my little squelchy friend. Uh, Heather, what is even going on? What is this camera angle you're giving me, game? Back away slowly. There's no way you're dead. No, he's still moving. Target scratched. I think. Yeah. Okay, area pacified. We really don't have many bullets left. I guess the handgun's not too bad. We just have to keep our distance. Uh, let's go back and save it. Because we are bingo time. Hmm. And then when we come back, we can continue exploring. Let's go back up to the third floor. See any trouble when you're you're recording? As much as I'd like to continue, we cannot. Alright, let's go back. Um, I don't think. No, that's fine. Aha! Excellent! We have a shortcut. Not one of those patented short long cuts either. An actual shortcut. Right. 
Let's hit up a save. Right, my friends, this is where we have to part ways for now. When we return, we're going to go check out the rest of that room. Well, the rest of that floor, really. Uh, shouldn't really have saved over that either. That was kind of stupid. Oh, well. What's done is done. Hopefully all is well. Yeah, when we come back, we're going to go finish uh, exploring this hospital, I suppose. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what we're going to get for our birthday. Although, I don't think it's going to be anything pleasant. Could have been those gribbly monsters. Those stinking deadites that we found. They did give us a little bit of pain. I, I, I'll give them that. But hopefully we're going to get a nice cake. Because who doesn't like cake? Birthday cake. It's kind of like the law, really. Or it should be. Anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.